Hi, Suzanne. I decided that I was going to make a video for you so you can see how I use the Jones products. So first thing that I do with my face is I actually do a toner. I bought a spray toner from Unique, which I really, really like. And I spray my face just to tone it and prime it for everything else that I'm going to do. And I give it a second to dry. Now, I know you like Perbel, um, which you could use before you put this on. You could try it with like a little moisturizer first, just so the Perbel goes on a little bit easier. I like the Perbel, but what the problem that I'm having is I'm a little bit tan, so it makes my skin look kind of white. So what I have been using, because I found them in Costco, was they had Strictvectin which is great stuff and is very expensive in Ultra or Sephora, but it's great for um, your skin. It's like an anti-wrinkle kind of thing. This one is, I can't really read it because I don't know my glasses on. Oh, wait a minute. This one is the Lift and Peptide, Titan Lift and Peptide for under and over your eyes. And this one is the anti-wrinkle and they're intensive moisturizers for your face and you can use them at night. Um, and in the morning. What I really like about this is this you're supposed to use on your whole face and it's got like this little um, applicator to put it on and you can put it in the fridge. I don't because I keep it in the bathroom, but really it really lifts everything around your eyes, which is really nice. Boop. And you don't really need that much. I just can't get it to come out. Plus, uh, in Costco, when I bought these, they actually both came with a travel size too, which was like super, super nice. So uh, I'm gonna do the best I can because I don't have my glasses on and I might have to look up in my big mirror. So that's my eye lift and my eye moisturizer. And then I have the Strictvectin anti-wrinkle and I'll do what they do on the videos and I just put it in with my fingers, super easy, and tap it around my face. And it really doesn't take too long to sink in. And as I found in Vegas, it's really important to moisturize every single day, including my body, because it is super dry here. So I'm gonna give that a second. I actually have two different Jones Rhodes balms. I have this one, which I've been using since I moved here. This is the, I think it's the bronze one. Um, yeah, it's bronze. And I've been going with this cause I am kind of tan and um, it just works well for me. They also have, and Coco used this one. This is the Dusty Rose which is really, really nice for me when I'm not tan, but you can use them both together. So I'm going to actually, before I do that, I bought, which I thought was really, really nice, the Jones Road um, eyeshadow, because it's really, um, it doesn't even look like you have eyeshadow on, and I kind of liked it. So you can put it on with your fingers. I have like these little, um, throwaway applicators that I bought, but I just put like a little tiny bit on just because it kind of like highlights your eyes a little, but you can't really tell too much. And I'm sorry, let me see if I can put the light on. I don't know if that's going to make it any better to say it's not the best lighting, but this is like, just like a really like it's hard to tell that you even have like an eyeshadow on but it kind of gives you like a little lift in your eyes they sell different colors this one is ash i liked it okay and once i do that i usually put my eye makeup on first because then i can use concealer to conceal anything that might have spilt from my mascara so i'm just gonna Curl my eyelashes. And I'm just going to use, other than this, um, all Jones Rhodes products so you can see. If I just get them to where they look a little bit. 
I like Thrive Mascara. I know you don't, but it works for me. So I'm just gonna put my mascara on. So I'm gonna do the other side. That way my eyes just look, I can't go out with that mascara on. That's just me. Okay. Um, now, I usually do my eyebrows every day. They do have like an eyebrow stick, but you can use it for other things too. Oh, the only thing I don't have is a spoolie. Hold on, hold on please. So I'm just going to spoolie up. And the reason that I started using, even though I have like really thick brows, is that I do have gray in them. <laughs> and I do, what I do is just, I kind of like outline them just to get them like straight. Because they're not straight, although they don't have to be perfect um, matching. They don't have to be twins. They just have to be sisters like us. Uh, and I just kind of fill in where I have some gray. You do not need to do this because I don't think you have gray in your eyebrows, but if you want to, that's cool too. And I could add, sometimes I add and I actually shape them, but I'm not doing that today. Then I move on to my face stuff. Now, you can just put this like on parts of your um, cheek if you want. I kind of put it all over my face just because it just is pretty light once you get used to putting it on. And they're gonna, if you watch the video, one of the really important things is like you have to actually like put your finger in this to like break it so you actually get it to, to work. Um, I can explain it on the phone. Katie knows what I mean. But then I just put it on like I'm putting on moisturizer. And again, you can put on as much or you, as little as you want. I put on a lot because it makes me look like sun-kissed and I like that. So, and again, this is like a bronzy one. Now, what you can even do, see, and that's my color, is I also bought um, as Katie did, the stick, which is good for um, blush or for lipstick. But what I'm gonna do just to show you is I'm gonna take the pink, the dusty rose, and I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks. You can see, you can use it like right on top of each other. And it just gives me like a real pinky, pretty look to my face that kind of breaks up the bronzy look. Okay. Then what I do is, because I do have um, big eye circles, you can use this pencil and just go like very softly underneath here. Bring it down. And again, it's not like typical concealer because it's more like a no makeup kind of makeup. You can do this with a brush or you can do it with your fingers. But I just take it and I just always bring it up because of the gravity going the other way on my 66 year old face. I really hope that you can see this. I'll take a picture too. And I'm just gonna move this a little bit here and a little bit here. Put in my conditioner, my uh, concealer over here. And that's kind of like a real simple face. And you can finish off 
with this. The cheek or lip, and I believe this is like a Milby Rose or something like that. 20 nude, close enough. But that's pretty much it. And if I think my face is too shiny, what I do is I just put it on and this won't cake in. I bought this, this is Rare Beauty. This is Selena Gomez and it's like a, um, like just a loose powder. And I really like this because it kind of just sets everything. And it gives me like a really nice, I don't look like I have too much makeup on, but I look kind of finished. And then Jenny turned me on. I have a billion of these little uh, NYX um, sprays for my face. I have like a matte finish, a dewy finish, a radiant finish. And I just spray this on, just, it does set it. It dries and your makeup is really set. So here's my first makeup video. Love you.